Vamos, llénate, llénate. Great, great. Está trabajando bien. You're working very well. Está trabajando bien. You're working real nice. Ahora, tiene que trabajarme con esta mano más. And now you got to work more. Con more con with the left. More with the left. Left. The fighting range. Esa es la razón tuya. Measure him. Hablando abajo. And then go to the Abajo body. Go to the body. Work the body. El tipo se está habilitando. No me cambie. Eh, un velocidad con el jab. No me veo. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Estamos bien. Relax, 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 breathe. Estamos bien. We're doing good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Is Imanez landing a great left hook as Gamboa is coming in, but it, you know, Gamboa didn't even feel that. Let's go, coach. Let's go, coach. Let's go. See a little swelling under the left eye of Imanez as we begin round number two. Jimenez is a sharp puncher, but he's not a real strong puncher. And uh, Gamboa can be hit like that against Jimenez. Against a better puncher, that could be disastrous. Isn't back. that some of the polish that will come along with his professional career, that as he gets up in class, he'll have to polish some of the raw ability lines? Yeah, I mean, this is a professional experience. You know, as an amateur, you may be the best in the world, but as a professional, you, you're relearning. You're learning different things. The pace is a lot slower. Different scoring aspects of the fight. So uh, he's he's off to a great start anyway. Should Jimenez be using a jab at least to kind of keep Gambo away? He was only according to copy box one for ten in the first round with the jab. You know, and he's got a good jab. I'm surprised that he's not using. Right now, right now he's more concerned about Gamboa throwing punches at him, and he's dealing with a defensive situation when he should be throwing that jab out there. I think he's afraid to throw it right now because he's not catching him, so he's he's looking at punches that where he can catch Gamboa, and right now he's electing to throw a double left hook and trying to you know feed him to the left side and catch him with that left hook. Gamboa is not an easy easy opponent to hit. Great leg movement. And that's another reason he can keep his hands down because his legs take him in and out of danger because he's got such a great in and out movement pattern. And that, that comes really from the amateur. Funny, you asked him yesterday about some of the things that he learned while he was in Cuba at La Finca, which is the boxing camp for the elite boxers. And that's some secrets stay. Yeah, well, I think there was a snake in there. It's something about a poisonous snake, which he has to catch. You know, but we saw not that many years ago Nassim Hamed, who was not as accomplished an amateur, obviously, as Gamboa, but a featherweight with real talent. And when he stepped up against world-class fighters, though he continued to be successful for a while, guys like Ke Kevin Kelly gave him more than he wanted. And, um, you know, Darling Jimenez is not Kevin Kelly. He's not bad. He's not quite a Kevin Kelly level fighter. The question's going to be, not that this contest is decided yet, but when Gamboa steps up one level past this, can he get away with some of this stuff? Well, sometimes guys usually drop their hands when they feel comfortable with the opponent that they're boxing, it, boxing with. Better opponents, you realize there's the higher risk out there, so you keep your hands up. So, you know, obviously he doesn't feel there's that yeah. much risk in this fight, so his hands are a bit down. And that's saying something, because Jimenez is world class. Relax, 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 open your mouth. Abre la lengua. Be your mouth. Take your tongue out. Atiéndeme. Estás haciendo un buen trabajo. You're doing a real good job. Estás bajando las manos. A real good job. Good job. But you're bringing your hands down. No lo dejes como hace. You're bringing your hands down. You're letting him get in. Don't let him think. Don't let him think. You gotta pop him. No lo dejes respirar. Don't let him breathe. Concéntrate en tu trabajo nada más. Focus on your work now. Focus on your work and set your hands. Hands, hands. Pop. To the sides. Mételo a la derecha abajo. Get your right into the body. Si tiene fuego que hacer, cambio arriba y le termino con el gancho bueno. Speaking to Kevin Kelly. You ask, you shall receive, Max. Kevin checking out the fight tonight. He never received that rematch with Ahmed, by the way. See some bruising above the left eye and below the left eye of Jimenez. 
and you usually get bruising the fact that he hasn't been in the ring for over a year so his face is softened up a bit now he needs to get his face a bit more harder so when he gets popped in the face he doesn't show those bruises so quickly you heard the corner of Gamboa say you know you put your hands in you're letting him sort of stay in the fight to really seize control of it get him up get him up get him up punch is up what his trainer is doing is really getting him back in focus in this fight and not making him relax and, and play too much. And, you know, there's still a lot of work to do out there and there's a dangerous guy in front of you, so let's get serious and, and stay focused. Meanwhile, we're seeing the difference between a special kind of an athlete and a, a solid but more ordinary kind of an athlete. And in order for Jimenez to overcome the physical differences, he's going to have to... You know, fight some, fight in a way that he's maybe a little uncomfortable fighting and start to put on a lot more pressure. And that's what he told us yesterday in the fighter meetings. I'll apply a lot of pressure to take his speed away. He has not done that. But, but, uh, but a, a more reckless pressure than this, I think. I think he's, he's choosing his spots. Right now he's just trying to figure out what's the best way to get in on Imez. And this is what he needs to do. Throw that combination. But, you know, to stop and put your hands down is, is a mistake. Good, good boxers usually keep you honest with that. Boa shoots to the body, then dips away. Right hand, then a left, touches Jimenez, then a right hand to the body. Jimenez just do a telegraph, slow hand to the body, right hand to the body. If he does that again, is going to jump on him. Well, you know, his speed has really slowed down since the first round. So I think the speed is really affecting him because of the fact that he can't catch Gamboa like he want, wants to. And that's a bit frustrating for him. Gamboa, we can start to get a sense in terms of his punching style. While he has an excellent knockout record and he is a very good puncher, he's not a heavy-handed kind of hit you anywhere and it's going to hurt you puncher. He's more of a Roy Jones speed equals power kind of puncher. Probably hit you with that punch you never saw because of that speed. Barely see the hands ringside there so fast. End of three, Gamboa comfortably in control. Now you're working intelligently. You know, and his pace is slowing. His pace is slowing, and ours is building. Ours is building. Come on, and change it up. Okay, no lo voy a respirar. Don't let him breathe now. Don't let him breathe. Attack his body. Attack his body. Put a right hook into the body. And then up to the face. Come on, look alive. Look alive. Let's go. Second up. Let's go. So we get set for the start of round number four for Yuriokas Gamboa and Darling Jimenez. Let's check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Lutterman. Okay, Bob. Three rounds to nothing, 30 to 27, Yuri Orcas Gamboa. Bob, you know, you've been talking about his hand speed, but I'll tell you what I like about Yuri, Or Yuri Orcas Gamboa. He moves real well, beautiful ring generalship. Lands a good shot and steps to the side. He's never in front of this guy. He gets out of there, and that's why he carries his hands low, because he ain't going to get hit because he's moving. See that? Gets it, gets it a good shot, moves to his right. Now he moves to his left. Beautiful ring generalship, three to nothing, Gamboa. Well, except that as he was... As you were saying, he ain't going to get hit, Harold. He did take a couple shots because his hands were down. Yeah, but now Gamboa jumping on Jimenez. I, I think against Jimenez, he may get hit, and it ain't going to matter. Great! Step back, step back. Let's go. Right hand put Gamboa down. Got him on the ear. 